another beautiful Minnesota morning. Last week of August. Lawn's looking very good. Nice and green. Still cutting it as high as my mower will let me cut it. Yesterday we had about an inch of rain. So that was perfect timing. I haven't really had to water that many times this year with the lawn sprinkler, so can't really justify putting in a irrigation system. So last year at this time, I started a lawn renovation. My lawn was pretty packed with crabgrass. So you can go back and look at that video of what I did there. I overseeded with perennial ryegrass and one of the issues with perennial ryegrass and with Kentucky bluegrass is the first year after you can get some lawn rust which is a fungus that forms because there's water on the, the blades of the grass and you get some heat and uh, there's really not much you can do to, to keep, uh, at least up here where we get a lot of dew in the morning because the temperature overnight drops down to the dew point. And so you get the moisture build up on the blades and you really depend on time and some wind and some heat build up to get that to evaporate off. But in the meantime, the lawn rust spores of a, it's a fungus basically gets put on the leaves. It doesn't seem to kill the grass but it can stun its growth a bit and uh, I obviously have that this year but it hasn't really affected too badly the health of the lawn this this section here has always stayed very green but this section over here I don't know if you can tell on the video does have a little bit more of a brown tint to it so it's not as healthy even though I have fertilized on a regular basis well I just got done spraying about a gallon of fluid down in the lawn hitting little some of the fall weeds you can notice on my shoes a nice orange tint those are uh, fungus spores so I do have a little fungus problem. It doesn't seem to be affecting the lawn that badly. But it's always kind of interesting to see that on your feet as well as on your lawnmower. It's always something. So here's a little patch. You can see some of that orange rust pustules on the blade itself. See it's not on every blade, but there's enough of them that causes that die off and uh, getting that pustules on your on your shoes or on your lawnmower all you can do is really fertilize more uh, let it grow out and cut it thanks for watching